Hey everyone, Nima here and welcome back to Ranshim. Today we're going to take a look at the new October update, also known as the Halloween update. Now, not a whole lot got added to the gameplay, but we did get some awesome Halloween items, naming animals, and some setting changes. So the first thing we notice, of course, is the changes in our main screen. We got a Halloween pumpkin, some white grey grass, foggy sky, and I dress myself a little bit more warmly. Now let's take a look at the changes under options. The anti-aliasing mode gained more options, so we can adjust better. And we got NVIDIA DLSS. Now, DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, and it's technology specifically for NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPUs. It uses a deep learning neural network to increase your frame rate and give you beautiful visuals. Very nice if you have an NVIDIA RTX video card. As some of you might know, there have been some complaints in the past about people just being able to hop into anyone's game. And I haven't really discussed as much to prevent people from getting ideas from me to do that. But they added session ideas, which will solve that problem. So anyone can start a game. You can find the session idea in-game, give it to your friends and connect in that way. Another great thing they added is multiple save games. And one of the best things of this is that we can now duplicate them. I can simply copy my save game, rename it to something like multiplayer. And now I have a game for myself and a copy to invite friends to. One of the biggest changes in the Halloween update is the changes to the map itself. As you can see, all the trees except for the pine trees are bare, even our treehouse tree. And the grass is completely grayish green, while well, the layer under it is still green. Got some different kind of flowers in here, as you can see. But that's only our homestead if you run a little bit farther out. You can see that our grass is very much green here. So, very different look between home and elsewhere. Now let's take a trip to the hardware store where we can take a look at the other updates and Halloween additions. Another part of the new map update that will stay until the 4th of November is the fog. As you can see, visibility is heavily reduced. Luckily, thanks to the bear trees, you will still be able to see the bears and wolves easily enough, even in this thick soup. The October Halloween update is coming to the main branch of the game on the 28th of October. The changes to the map will stay until the 4th of November, seeing as it's the Halloween update. Two new items were added to the store in this update. One is the ear tags, which you need to name your animals. And number two is the Halloween pumpkin or the jack-o'-lantern, which will stay in the store till the 4th of November, but will still be in your possession afterwards. You just can't buy any more. So make sure you buy enough. Now, another thing you need for your jack-o'-lanterns is paint. So you can change the color of the light. To change the light in your lanterns, you need paint. The standard light in the jack-o'-lanterns when you just buy them is very bright. So I like to use a darker orange, give it more of a candlelight image without it being too dark and we parked over here there we go let's go get our name tags and jack-o-lanterns i will show you how they work and how we can set up smile jack 
Time to use our pumpkins in some decorations. If you want them to face another way when stacking, you need to turn them about 90 degrees. Oop. Now, as you can see, the starting light is extremely bright. Turn it on. So we'll use some orange paint. Simply hold the paint and click it, just like you would do with any other item. And there it is, orange. And you can, of course, use different colors as well. Black will simply almost not be there. Maybe in the dark we'd be able to see it. Purple, you get a nice creepy purple glow. But I like orange best, especially the dark orange gives an impression of candlelight while still being clearly visible. And you can set it up as you like and add as many pumpkins as you want. Just keep in mind they're out of the shop after 4th of November when the map changes back. You'll still have your pumpkins, you just won't be able to buy any more. Now to name our animals, all you have to do is take the name tags into your hand, walk up to your cow or pig or rooster, chicken, horse, and press E. And there you can name your animal. You can also rename them endless times. It will just cost a name tag every single time. One bag has 20 name tags. So this one's named after Smiley, one of my wonderful members, so we can just rename her the Bella for a moment or anything you'd like. And there you go. And then you can name her back. And all done. And you can do this with all the animals you can buy at the store. Another thing added with the Halloween update is the Nightmare Wolf. As you can clearly see, he has very red eyes, very black. I'm just staying in the car for a moment because as soon as I get out, he will attack me. They're simply wolves reskinned, but it looks pretty epic. If you look closely at the deer, you can see their antlers are much bigger with this update. I said, let me look closer. Thank you. They're thicker and longer, as is normal in fall, so that's a great addition. And that's everything in this October Halloween update. If you want to see more of this game, leave me a like. Want to see more of me? Subscribe. Leave me a comment telling me what you think about the update and what you like best. And I will see you all next time.